Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Sherry Antwine. I'm the director of AfroCrowd, and uh, you, some of you may also know me from uh, Wikimedians of the Caribbean. Today, we're going to be doing a, a short presentation on the work of AfroCrowd and the diaspora. Today, you're going to be hearing from uh, a few groups within AfroCrowd that help us um, represent not only the diaspora's connection to the greater world, but also the importance of it. You're going to be hearing from me, of course, uh, Mermoz uh, Adodo from Wikimedia Benin, uh, who's an Africa liaison, Linda Fletcher, who's um, the wiki coach at Africa Associated Wiki Club Alkibelen. Uh, Carmen Collimore, who is an Afro-Crowder, who is also a part of uh, Wiki Alcabellan. In short, Afro-Crowd is an initiative to champion and increase awareness of the African diaspora on Wikipedia. You can read through the long version. <laughs> We've been around since 2015, and we've been working um, throughout uh, since almost the beginning. Um, we've been working uh, throughout the year to hold events, uh, whether it's training, talks, whether it's um, reaching out uh, through different organizations. Uh, we've worked with groups like the United Nations. We've worked with grassroots groups. Uh, we've worked in GLAM. We've worked uh, with a lot of schools and students and professors. We started out in a library in Brooklyn, New York, and then um, a few Short uh, years later, we have um, uh, expanded throughout the United States, the Caribbean, and now have partners all over the world, including in Africa. You can th read through some of our successes. We've uh, enjoyed um, the ability to connect with a lot of organizations, but the banner for us and our, our main goal and our main central point is to amplify the diaspora and amplify representation. When uh, Alice Backer, who founded AfroCrowd, started it uh, in 2015, it was because she looked into Wiki and didn't see herself, uh, which is not unusual for a lot of black women, but here was an opportunity to do something about it. So when I joined her a few months later, and obviously I'm still here, uh, we worked tirelessly to find ways, uh, lots of different ways, whether it's a translate-a-thon, which focuses on um, translating uh, articles in on Wikipedia, or whether it's uh, a trying uh, different uh, modes of connection, um, both online, in person, and elsewhere, um, and so many other ways we have, uh, we enjoyed, uh, uh, we enjoy experimentation and finding ways to um, reach um, the, the people that we are, are working with. We've also worked with many different kinds of groups who share our mission. And here's a little bit more on some of our accomplishments. All right, now um, I want to talk a little bit directly about our outreach and partnerships. Like I mentioned before, the diaspora is extremely important to our mission. Diaspora meaning um, those, uh, for in our case, those living outside of African continent, whether it be the most recent from the uh, transatlantic slave trade, some of y'all can Wikipedia that later, or um, those in more, um, uh, uh, generationally connected to the diaspora within a few generations, for example, Africans in the diaspora and so forth. Diaspora you can find all over the world. Um, how many of you are part here are part of a diaspora? Uh, meaning that you have heritage and roots to a place where you do not live or reside uh, currently. Oh, fantastic. So when you think of diaspora, you think of a connection that um, goes beyond a uh, place, but rather is deep into our blood, into our roots, and our identity for ourselves. And that is another reason why it empowers the work of AfroCrowd, because that connection is what builds interest in an area where less than 10% of participants on Wikipedia are people of African descent. 
And here you can see some of the groups that we've worked with. Um, and I'm just going to move on. But I want to highlight the group at the bottom left and the groups uh, at the top. As you see, we pull from folks who are willing to work with us from many different backgrounds, cultures. And also, we've um, had a presence in uh, Africa. The folks down here are from Mali. And you can see students and uh, librarians um, in different uh, slides. I just want to quickly glaze over this case study. Um, we believe in connection. Uh, we have uh, created connections, for example, um, almost since the beginning. Um, we make it a point to get to know folks um, and experts within the Wiki community. And in this case, we connected folks in uh, the diaspora and allies um, at Oregon State University, as well as librarians and partners in Nigeria. And of course, AfriCrowd, our community, uh, which is a fairly diverse community in general, online. Now, uh, we hold several different kinds of events. And um, I want to mention that these events are never limited to what we come up with. We're always, uh, we, we attempt to always be flexible to what our partners desire as well as what our mission is. As long as it matches our mission, we work with the partner and their aims as well. For example, if you take a look at the bottom right, you'll see our partners at a school, uh, a college in, uh, in New York City that focus focuses on uh, languages of the African diaspora. Now, for us, this professor, she wanted to highlight how you can use Wikipedia in the classroom to talk more, uh, to um, participate more in our knowledge of languages. And this class focused on African diaspora languages, and the students uh, work to um, create articles in this, as well as um, different forms of Wiki contributions. Um, if you take a look at the top uh, left, you'll see students, uh, uh, African students of the diaspora at MIT. Um, we had the opportunity to, to connect with the African Student Union at MIT, and they also, um, their connection is a different kind of connection than sometimes you think of when you think of the diaspora, uh, because they are uh, Africans within the diaspora, although their homes um, after they're done with school are mostly going to be um, their home countries. Um, and finally, at the bottom, you'll see um, some of the uh, ways that we've connected during the pandemic and beyond. We've um, invested wholeheartedly into the hybrid system and uh, finding ways to connect online uh, no matter what. And I'll, I'll touch on that later as well. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention that's really uh, connected to the diaspora is if you took a look at the top, um, you'll see a woman in yellow. Now, the story with her is she wanted to, she um, is an Afrocrowder who happened to be going to Ghana during the year of return. The year of return, uh, which is t in 2019, um, reflects uh, uh, the memory of the start of the slave strait in North America. Now she, on her own dime, with a little support from us for food and, and transportation, um, was able to go down and connect with our friends at Open Foundation West Africa in Ghana. And there uh, we had the event remotely. And I just wanna quickly touch on the bottom picture where you see uh, right next to um, the Wikipedia globe, that's an event that we held in Puerto Rico. Uh, we also had a Wikipedian friend who's going to be in Puerto Rico, and we worked with him as well as our connections and partners in Puerto Rico to hold an event in that diaspora there. So you see there's just so many ways um, to connect. I want to touch on this briefly. Our connection diaspora also goes in uh, the form of the sources that we read. We participate. We um, were part of a program um, that um, um, a partner and I um, began to focus on ensuring that regions within diaspora are not forgotten. For example, um, diasporans in the Caribbean, in small towns, and also in um, cities where um, the the, for example the information is held within community um, mostly. All right. These are just some of the other items that we do. Um, I want to make sure that um, you understand that 
Afrocrat is a small initiative. Um, we began, like I said, with one person, uh, expanded to two people, and then we depend on our partners and works within our partnership and our ability to reach out. We've also connected, obviously, with way more people than that um, since our beginning days. But it began as a meetup, a small meetup, and an idea of a Wikipedian who wanted to make a difference, who, by the way, is part of the Haitian diaspora um, as well and I am uh, also part of the Caribbean diaspora. Um, since then, uh, people have come to our events um, and have stayed and invested time and effort into AfroCrowd and what it's becoming. And one of those people is a, a woman by the name of Linda Fletcher. We've also reached out and connected with partners within uh, the uh, continent to continue to connect through uh, with us as liaisons in their community. And we have one such person here today by the name of Melk Mose Adodo. So without further ado, I want you to listen to their story and why they connected with AfroCrowd to extend the arms of what we can do within the world and especially in our connection and our connective tissue with um, diasporans as well as um, those wanting in general to participate in the phenomenon of Wikipedia and Wikimedia. Media. Please, Menos. Please give him a round of applause. One moment as we switch slides. I should mention that some of this is going to be in French. So if you are um, uh, with us on Event Yay, there should be translation available for you. And uh, I'm going to do my best to translate some of what Memos is saying. Please. Bonjour à tous, on m'appelle Mermoz Adodo et mon fondateur de Wikimedia Bénin. Et donc, euh, je, depuis le moment où nous avons commencé à travailler avec euh, et Chéri Afrocrot, et l'objectif c'est de, de collecter Afrocrot avec toute, toute l'Afrique. Euh, et sa diaspora, parce que nous avons remarqué que l'Afrique, il y a un gap informationnel au niveau de l'Afrique et qu'il est très important que nous-mêmes nous puissions le travailler à, à le combler. C'est dans ce cadre-là que nous avons commencé par travailler, à faire une connexion avec Afrocode et plusieurs personnes, plusieurs pays se sont, se sont joints à nous. Et donc, lorsque vous voyez, par exemple, les... les le potentiel de l'Afrique, c'est qu'il y, y a plus de 300 millions d'internautes au niveau de l'Afrique. 300 millions. Mais qu'est-ce que nous faisons de, de ces internautes-là Qu'est-ce que nous faisons de la connexion C'est que les gens partagent juste l'information. Alors, nous sommes en train de travailler à ce que les gens puissent utiliser l'Internet grâce à AfroCrowd pour partager l'information, pour partager et pour combler ce fossé informationnel-là sur l'Afrique. Parce que nous avons remarqué que quand on présente l'Afrique, c'est surtout la faim, les guerres et tout ça dont nous voulons partir de là pour pouvoir combler le fossé informationnel. OK, pour plus de 300 millions Oui, 300 millions d'habitants. Pour les Africains, c'est important d'être une partie de leur propre histoire. Et. Excusez-moi pour votre translation. Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un ici qui peut parler en français meilleur que moi oui, non? Non? Ah oui, tu crois que tu es en anglais? Euh, mon anglais n'est pas bon pour bon, mais. Mais s'il vous plaît, continuez vite, merci. Ok, well, please continue in French and I will do my best. Et donc, l'objectif pour nous, c'est de travailler à ce que nous, pouvons, nous puissions augmenter le nombre de contributeurs. Vous voyez, il y a beaucoup plus de contributeurs qui écrivent sur l'Afrique et, et, et sa diaspora. 
There's many, le transfert, oui. there many le transfert des compétences. Who, there are many Africans who have contributed, uh, both in Africa and the diaspora. OK. Faire le transfert des compétences, c'est-à-dire échanger ce que eh, chérie, elle a comme connaissance, elle partage avec nous. Si c'est le Togo, le Togo partage avec nous. Si c'est le Caraïbes, le Caraïbes partage avec nous. Et nous allons faire, voilà, un échange de, de culture et de connaissances. By participating with the Afro crowd, um, as well as bringing in uh, folks from places like Togo um, and uh, elsewhere, uh, we've been able to exchange knowledge, exchange experience and culture. Nous voulons aussi travailler à démystifier la contribution à l'Afrique et à, à la contribution à, à, à Wikipédia parce qu'il y a certains qui pensent que contribuer à Wikipédia, il faut aller à l'école, il faut avoir une compétence. Nous, nous allons démystifier ça pour que tout le monde puisse y contribuer. Si c'est Wikipédia qui plaît les gens, alors les gens peuvent contribuer. Si c'est une photo qui plaît les gens, les gens peuvent. Si c'est Wikisource qui plaît les gens, donc c'est comme ça que nous voulons travailler avec Afroprod. Encore. <rire> Um, we, uh, I'm going to just read from there. We're, we're going to make a, um, uh, we exchange uh, skills and uh, editors uh, with editors that exist. Um, we gain the, we create articles uh, and update articles in Wikipedia on Afri Africa and people of African descent. And um, we uh, create more visibility for the projects in Africa and their diaspora and uh, participate with other people and organizations with the same ideas and ex uh, experiences um, that expand horizons. And that's uh, some of the reasons why we work with AfroCrowd. Donc, joignez-vous à nous, quel que soit le projet que vous avez, si c'est un concours photographique, si c'est les bibliothèques, si c'est un concours lié à, euh, lié à la biodiversité, vous pouvez joindre à nous. Nous allons pouvoir travailler ensemble, que ce soit au Togo, que ce soit à Madagascar, que ce soit en Guinée, que ce soit les, les Caraïbes, que ce soit n'importe où, vous pouvez vous joindre à nous. We've participated with uh, places like Togo, Madagascar, uh, which other places? Benin. Ben, of course, Benin, yeah. uh, Burkina Faso, and more. Faso, Guinée. With uh, different Maurice, projects. Uh, within. Et tout ça. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, just don't mean to interrupt, but um, we need to stick to time, and I know there's transport, uh, translation, which takes double time, so... <laughs> keep in mind we do have to stick to time so i think you get the the idea that we have um a quite a good connection that's building within the group if you see in here um this comes from one of the photo walks that we've done um with uh wiki benin and afro crowd as well as uh, with other folks who participated and um the kind of contributions that um this kind of partnership creates for those um hoping to maintain a connection with africa as well as increased knowledge and uh, competencies um, can't be understated. Thank you very much, Memos, for your dedication. Merci beaucoup.